Right, hello everybody, Ingus Woodsman here, welcome to my YouTube channel, most of all, thank you very much for clicking on my video. Now, yeah, I'm back doing another video of my cheap Chinese firebox stove. I modified it a little bit, I put a better grid grill in there so, you know, the embers don't fall down as much. I uh, modified the top. There's a video, a few videos down about, you know, what I did exactly to it. And uh, there's one below this one, what I did to the Bush Box XL. I made like a stand for the top of the stove, just so, you know, the, the, uh, the fire can breathe a bit better, so it, less smoke, basically. You'd have to go check it out below to see that video. Anyway, a fellow commented saying, even with my modifications to this one, it says, after a really, really good burn, it said, it'll still warp, it'll be no good, it's happened to his. And I've seen another few videos on YouTube what has done the same. After a few burns, it's warped. And it, it it's just rubbish. So, you know, I'm honest in my videos. I like to bring you, you know, if I realise something. And I thought to myself, let's do another video about it now. The final test. Let's put it through some serious fire. Some serious heat. Let's have it going for about an hour. Let's just see exactly how it works. Well, we know it's going to work, but what I want to do is... I want to see how it stands up to some brilliant heat. Now, I collected a load of wood when I were out doing my video about the other stove further down. Let's test it. Let's have one hell of a fire in it. Let's keep it going for an hour, maybe two hours, who knows. Let's see what it's like after the burn. I think we should have a, enough wood there to give it a really good burn. If not, I've got some more in garden shed. We'll just go get that out. Right, so do remember, this video is really just to test. Well, let's see if it does withstand a few hours burn. So this stuff is out my tumble dryer. This stuff takes fire. There we go, really well. Let's get a bit of wood in. Yeah, try to remember, it is a garden video. There's a lockdown going on still. You know what, I'm gonna take this grill off because I don't think the grill is gonna be... No, I think I'd best leave the grill on actually because it's part of the stove, innit? Yeah, so there's a lot of noise well, I am, so we have to think about that in the video as well. You can stack this up. Stick that in there. It's still going. That right, I'll bring you back in a minute. Yeah, I really want to push this stove to its max tonight to see what exactly it'll look like after we give it a really good burnout. I know I keep saying it, I just want to make it crystal clear to the person that keeps going on about it. But I'm pushing it as far as the says do it. And then we can all see exactly what it's like afterwards, can't we? So I'm trying to fill it up the best I can. Now it pushing my stove off. There we go. Uh, grill. Right, there we go. Right, so I can hear a little bit of the metal moving on this in here. Well, really, it's the opposite side from this one. Yeah, I can hear a little bit of the metal cracking. It's just warming up, I think, but yeah, I just thought I'd bring you back and let you know there is some sort of movement going on. Right, so we're 10 minutes into it now. The wood is lasting a little bit longer than the very first time I used it. I think it helps with this grid at the bottom. It leaves all the fire there, all the embers. Last time the embers were dropping straight through the gaps. But yeah, seems to be doing all right. That's 10 minutes in. I'll bring you back at next 10 minutes. 
Right, so I've just filled it back up. This time, I'm gonna try and close the door. There we go. To see, well, it looks a little bit more smoky, doesn't it, now the door's shut. Let's see how that burns. Well, it's not looking too bad inside. I think it's time we fill it back up. 17 minutes this time. Right, so what we're gonna do, we are gonna lose the grid. Not yet. Because first of all, let's not waste the water. Let's make yourself a brew. Oh yes. Well, I must admit, and I've just had a little look around the stove. There is a little bit of warping going on at the back and the, the front door here. So is the gentleman right who keeps mentioning it. After a really good burn, I possibly could have wasted 25 quid and my time modifying it to suit my needs. Right. Bring you back soon. Right, so I've just gone live on Facebook. You can check me out on Facebook if you want to put a uh, English Woodsman in. I'll pop up there. I'll share a link in the uh, comments below to that to my uh, Facebook uh, group. I've taken the grill off because I've made myself a nice cup of coffee in my Christmas cup. I know it's not Christmas, but it's still a really good cup. Yes, yeah, so I've been really filling it up. Really, really full. I've noticed a bit of a bit of movement in the hinges of it. So that's something we do need to keep an eye on. And maybe a little bit of bowing at the back, but I'm going to show you that afterwards. Let's fill this thing back up and we'll have another go at it, see how much we can get in. Right, what I have done is, I've shut the door. Because we're going to put, if they fit, I didn't even measure these. They'll fit. I'm just going to put some of these bigger chunks in now. And we say we're going to leave it to burn. And I think you can sort of agree on how much heat burning these big blocks and these other pieces here should cause so there's no saying you know I didn't push it to its max you know I didn't give it a really good doing because this is crazy <laughs> but we need to test it this is the thing if we don't test it we take it out in the field and it fails on us because it collapses or it breaks up. Is it going to be a problem? Probably not. But at least we know if we garden test it, just how well it does do. Right, so you can sort of see there, but the door is warping under the heat. Same with the hinges, if I can let it focus right. On the sides there, the middle one. These seem to be opening a little bit with too much heat the other side is doing it a little bit but not as bad as the other side I'll show you the back side the back you can just see there where all the heat's built up but that is starting to warp out quite a bit <laughs> do you know what this is a brilliant test I, I'm, I'm not knocking this test at all let me know in the comments do you really think it is a good test doing this? Just so you lot can save your money if you thought about getting one. But yeah, it really, really is going for it now. Right, so 
gosh, I've been live on Facebook tonight. I've been live on Instagram tonight, showing people this stuff. Let them know I'm gonna have this new video going. Yeah, mental. Anyway, I can, I can see some sort of movement. Yeah, I can definitely see some sort of movement around these hinges here. And I have burnt the hell out of it. I'm not even just saying it. I have really set fire to this stove. Caused a lot of heat in it. I'm going to see if I've got some more wood. Right, so unfortunately, that is all the wood I've had. I've been burning it for 1 hour and 44 minutes so far. So I'm going to say we could get a good... That's not going to cause too much heat. But you know, the heat's there. That's when it's probably at its warmest as well, isn't it? So... Yeah, the heat's there still, but it's not as bad and as, con you know, crazy as it were early. So I don't think it could walk much more. As soon as it cools down, we'll take a... Uh, I might even empty these embers out, let the stove cool down itself, and then show you just how much it has warped, if any. I'm sure there's some points I can see where it's warped, definitely. Right, so I'm going to show you something here. My modification to the ashtray, well, the uh, yeah, the tray where your wood sits on, because I think if you've seen the other video I ran about a bit further down, my cheap Chinese stove video, you'll see but the gaps are really, really big and bits of burnt wood are falling down. Well, just look what's left from my change. Barely nothing, and I have burnt a lot of wood. So that just tells me if I can turn this round and open the door. So that tells me this tray here, let's get you a bit closer. This tray, why I added to it, has actually worked really, really well. Right, so it's all cooled down now. I did empty the rest of it out. Now, there is... The door's moved a little bit. I'm not going to lie about any of this, okay? I'm going to tell you the honest truth. I'm not... Just because I, I do like it as well. But I'm not going to bid it up. If it's warped, if there's something wrong, I'm going to say as it is. Yeah, the door has become <laughs> a bit of an issue. <sighs> So that's warped. The bottom tray has warped. The back is probably the worst part. That has bored out quite a lot. The hinges, what you see in there, they've opened up a little bit, you know, it heats. That's something we're gonna watch over the next few times. But if I had to collapse it, so I'll take the top off, move all this round, get this out, I mean. Try to close the door, there we go, collapse it back down. I'm going to leave it to you guys. I'm not going to have an opinion on it, I'm going to leave it to you, the viewers, to let me know what you think. I pointed out a few little bits and bats where it has warped. Is it still usable? I think it is. I think it's still going to be used. That's it now anyway, there's going to be no more videos of me, you know, showing you anything about this stove, you know, bits and bats about it. The next time I, you probably see this on my YouTube channel is when I'm probably out doing a bit of cooking on it or I'm camping, I'll take it out camping with me. But yeah, this is the last time you're going to see this is in review video or test video now, because there's probably one too many videos of this stove on the channel already taking a look at it. But yeah, fire test, severe fire test. I started this video, I think it were... Can't remember now. But yeah, I think it all together we're going for 1 hour and 50 minutes. So, really good heat test. It's warped a little bit. I'm still happy with it. I'm happy with it, let's say. I want to know your lots of opinions now. So I'm going to get off. So thanks for watching. I'll definitely see you later on. Yeah, just thank you very much for watching this video.